Hey guys, this is Full Gaming Instincts here, and welcome to tutorial 14 on how to create a first person shooter game in Unity. So, first off, if you're new to my series, I recommend you go and view my excuse me, previous tutorials and then come to this one so you'll have a better understanding of what's going on and how we've arrived at this point in our game. Now, if you were following my series thus far, you'll know that today we'll be doing some. Uh, final touches to our game because our tutorial series will be coming to a close very soon. So the first uh, touch that we're going to be focusing on is displaying our actual ammo on our screen. Good stuff. So uh, one other thing, uh, I would like to apologize for my delay in my series. This is due to the fact that I had my game to complete and Awaken Tree is finally completed. I'll leave a link in the description below. You guys can download the game and play it, and you guys can give me some feedback on what you think rather than me just describing the game for this tutorial. Anyways, let's get down to it. Uh, what you'll need to do is check for the link in the description below, and download the package, and import it into your project. And you should get a tutorial 14 folder. Good stuff. Within that folder, there's a prefab and a script. All you need to do is go to your prefabs folder, take the prefab, drag it into your hierarchy. And you go to your scripts folder, take the script, drag it onto your first person controller, and yeah, that's pretty much that. All you need to do now is just open up the prefab in which you dragged it, which is the GUI. Go to here. See, after you select your first person controller, you go down to the bottom and look for the script. Good stuff. And you just open this up, the prefab, and you just take the GUI ammo and you just drag it where it says bullet GUI. You take the rock, the GUI rockets, and you just take it and drag it where it says rocket GUI. Good stuff. And that's pretty much that. All you need to do now is go to your uh, first person controller, open up all of this, and just enable this one and enable this one, and we'll just hit play. And you'll notice that uh, the I'm always going to be displayed on your screen and it's going to go down when you shoot. Yeah, that, that's some good stuff. Yeah, so we hit shoot. As you can see, the bullets are going down. Good stuff. We hit a rocket. A rocket goes down when we shoot. Good stuff. Yeah, that's pretty much that. So, yeah. Now, some persons might have mo uh, more than two weapons in their game. And they're going to want the bullets to be, or the rockets to be displayed on the GUI. I'll show you guys how you can do that. It's very simple. All you need to do is go here. Let's say this is one of the weapons, alright. I'm just going to enable this, alright. And we're going to go to the tutorial 14. We'll open up the script in Mono Develop. Now, uh, this is the cube example. I just made a little change to it. I'm using the uh, machine gun components, alright. Now, this is what you'll need to do, okay? Uh, ensure that whatever your weapon is named as, alright? Ensure that the script is named as the same thing. So, as I showed you guys, you just took the machine gun script and you just drag it onto your other gun and stuff like that. You're going to need to open up your machine gun script and copy everything inside it. All right, and you're gonna need to create a new uh, script. Yeah, you're gonna need to create a new script, and what you'll need to do is actually paste everything that you copied from your machine gun script in there, and ensure you rename the script to whatever your weapon is named as. So as I have a cube gun, as you can see, I created a. Uh, a new uh, script and I just renamed it as as is and it has the same components as the machine gun as you can see here range fire rate and so on uh, range fire rate and so on good stuff everything remains the same I just copied everything from the machine gun script and just create a new script rename it as the weapon the same name as the weapon and just paste everything in there and just save the code good stuff that's all you need to do and just ensure that all of these guns are enabled and we'll go to our script now and we'll just set everything up so it'll function. So since we're using the components of the machine gun, what we're going to do, we're going to go here, we're going to copy variable bullet GUI. This basically deals with 
the attribute or the bullets from the script the machine gun script all right this here bullets all right bullets per clip good this is what it deals with all right now it we want it to be displayed on our screen so this is going to help us out all we need to do now is just delete bullet and we let's put cube all right i'm going to put cube for tutorial purpose you know good stuff and all we need to do now is just uh copy the no copy the machine gun everything pertain the machine gun we're going to just copy it and we'll just paste it back just paste it right on the rocket launcher and we'll just rename this here to cube and we'll go here now this is very important now you notice that this machine gun has an uppercase it starts with a upper M right a upper a M in uppercase alright and this one it starts with lowercase alright now keep that in mind so if we're gonna go here we're gonna need to actually start our cube with DC is gonna be in uppercase and it's gonna be cube gun good stuff just keep that in mind that's very important because if you make a simple mistake as that you're gonna get a error in unity okay so good stuff now all we need to do is just delete all of this and let's put cube there and we're just going to as you can see again the M is in uppercase we're just gonna go here and good stuff and we're gonna go down here we're gonna copy this if statement all right if machine gun bullet gy text equal to machine gun dot get bullets left to string all right what we're gonna do we're gonna go right here on the rocket under this here and we're gonna just left click and just paste all of this here let's stop and we're just gonna change this here now to cube all right and we're going to change this to what we have at the top here which is cube gy good stuff and we're just going to change this cube gy we're going to go here we're going to change this to cube gun c in lowercase and yeah that's pretty much that we're just going to go to the bottom here now we're going to copy this code we just paste it right beneath the code in which we copied we just changed it to 500 and not 530 and we're going to change this to cube good stuff we just hit control save and go back into unity and unity should load up the script with no errors good stuff um, yeah unity loads it up no errors now uh, if you're actually going to have two rocket launches in your game right you just you just need to repeat the same process all right ensure that whatever your weapon is named as your script is named as so that means that you need to copy everything if you want in the rocket launcher attributes you're going to need to copy your rock everything open this up copy your rocket launcher script and create a new javascript and just paste everything inside do know that you need to delete everything that when you first create a javascript i should say it'll have some actual stuff inside practice script with two function start and function update i think and you'll need to just delete all of that and then paste the code in which you copied from the rocket launcher script or your machine gun script and all you need to do is just go in here and just copy the rocket launcher and change it to whatever it's going to be so let's say this is rocket uh, GUI let's say we're gonna put rocket uh, GUI whatever the guns name is alright and you're gonna change up all of this remember the name of your actual script and your gun needs to be the same as I told you guys so you're gonna go here and you're gonna put the name of the script the name of the weapon alright good stuff and ensure that you look out for the lowercase uppercase and everything should work out just fine just remember to create your function on GUI so it'll have a label so you'll know which is for which gun good stuff and you'll need to position the GUI properly so all we need to do now is just go here and 
duplicate is right click right click sorry duplicate and we're just gonna rename this to GUI ammo cube good stuff and we're just gonna change this around 94 and yeah that's pretty much that now if you did everything right and you hit play you'll notice that everything will work out just fine and unity should load this up any minute yeah good stuff everything is being displayed here as you can see and yeah we shoot it goes down now for some reason this one's not working all right the cube in which we now if you noticed we uh hold on a second Oh, the reason why it's not being displayed, sorry about that, is because we forgot to uh, put this down here. See so if you notice, if we go into Unity, it's getting an error. All right, variable cube GUI FPS GUI ammo is not being assigned. So what it's basically telling us is that uh, nothing is assigned here. As you can see, it has none GUI text. So you're gonna get that error. So if you just take the one in which we duplicated and rename and drag it here and then hit play you'll notice that it's working now so do keep that in mind so just remember to follow what I showed you guys and everything should work out just fine so we switch to the gun we have 40 bullets and we're shooting and it's going down machine gun and we shoot it goes down our rocket we shoot it goes down good stuff and you'll notice if our ammunition look at our bullet alright if our ammunition reaches to zero it automatically reloads that's because the script is set to automatically reload the gun alright so we don't necessarily need an actual animation that's gonna actually show us alright that we need to reload and stuff like that so yeah that's pretty much it for this tutorial guys on how you can display your your ammunition on your GUI yeah so if you like this tutorial you can give me a thumbs up do remember to subscribe keep yourself up to date with my channel and in the next tutorial I'll be showing you guys how you can actually uh, display the score with the GUI and not the GUI text so it's gonna be displayed like this like how our health is displayed and it's gonna be displayed like that so yeah that's what I'll be showing you guys and some other cool fixes that we'll need to be uh, actually make for our game so yeah once again hope you like this tutorial if you do you can give me a thumbs up do remember to subscribe keep yourself up to date with my tutorial series on how to create a first person shooter game in unity so until next time continue making games guys peace